The Union Depository contract is a short and easy heist that was added with the Auto Shop update. And because it's so fast and easy, the payout for this heist is 300,000, which by itself is pretty decent since it is a fun heist and it doesn't take too much time at all. But Rockstar this week have done something that nobody expected, which have made it a three times payout. That is right, it's not 300,000, not 600, but 900,000 to complete this heist. Now, if you wanna do this heist, you need to go on over to your foreclosure bank right here and you need to purchase an auto shop like the one I have right here. But this week, as you can see, if I click on another one, they are actually on sale and everything within them is also on sale. So if you wanted to purchase one, this week is when to do it. And not only are you gonna get it on sale, but just doing the heist like once or twice, you're gonna pay for this entire thing. So it is well worth it. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step all of the setups for this heist and completing this heist, showing you the fastest, easiest way to do it. And it should take us around 25 minutes to earn that beautiful 900,000. And if you wanna do it again, once you've completed it at the end of the video, I'll be showing you how to do that also. But first and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, once you have purchased your auto so shop you're going to walk on over to the contracts board right here and as you can see these are all three times pay so what's the most expensive or what's the best payout it is the union depository contract so let's go ahead and start this thing up okay so once you've started it up you'll get this board right here you can see there's two setup missions and then the third one being the actual heist itself titled the robbery and these missions for anyone even a new player are very easy but there is faster and easier ways to do them and that's what i'm going to be showing you here today so first and foremost let's go ahead and start up the first one which is elevator key all right, so as soon as you've launched the mission, go ahead and choose your vehicle of choice. If you have the CEO, you can go ahead and get the Buzzard. If you have a Sparrow, you can get the Sparrow. I personally love the Sparrow. Or you can get a Presser Mark II. Whatever vehicle that you find is easiest for you. So let's go ahead and get inside here. So there's going to be his sensor. I'm going to hang up right away so it shows me where the location is instead of having to wait for her to finish talking. And you can see it's going to be one of three buildings. So just fly on over to that yellow marker. So I'm going to speed this part up a little bit. All right, and once you get to the building, you can either, if you're in a ground vehicle, you can go in the front door, or if you're in a helicopter or something a little bit higher up like I am, you can go ahead and land on the roof. And we're not going to be coming back to this vehicle, so if you damage it, it doesn't really matter because we're going to be leaving with our armored truck. So for this part, if you have a rocket launcher, you go ahead and try using the rocket launcher. I'm just going to use my whatever gun you feel most comfortable with. I feel most comfortable with my shotgun right here. So we're just going to come in, take out him, take out this guy. There's going to be a guy that's going to run right here. Let's take out him. And then you're just going to continue. There's about six people left in here. Actually, this guy. You know what? Let's grab him. And then there's a guy down here. And then there's this guy that's hiding behind a bloody box. So let's get him. There we go. Make sure you have armor and snacks. I forgot to get armor. So I messed up there a little bit. But this guy around here has a shotgun. So just be really careful not to uh, walk straight in on him. And then there's another guy in here with an SMG. Go ahead and take him out just so when you're looting the body, he doesn't come on in and take you out. So this body can sometimes land in like awkward positions. So you can't, it doesn't look like you're frisking him, um, but you are. Like if you look at me right now, it's kind of like awkward. Okay, you've collected it. So it doesn't always do the animation, but you do collect it. Now we're going to go down to the basement. We're going to make sure I'm full on snacks and armor here. Make sure I have my gun ready. Now there's going to be a lot of people in here. So as soon as you get in, take cover on the wall or behind the car. I'm just going to take cover on this wall right here. So then just take out these. I think there's like eight of them in here. All right, let's fill up on snacks. And just take your time. There's no rush. All right, there's two left. Let's go ahead and take out you and you. And that is it. Is that guy dead or is he just taking a nap? Okay, he was dead. Now, this is the car you're coming for, the armored truck. Now, in this point, it's going to tell us to drive towards the auto shop, but we're actually going to be taking this to the bank in a parking structure right next to the bank. All right, so here we go. As you'll see, it'll say deliver the vehicle to the auto shop. That is not where we're going. As soon as we get close enough, that will change. And we're in an armored vehicle, so I wouldn't worry about trying to take out any of these guys. Okay, so just drive towards, as it's telling you to do. But then you're going to want to go towards the central, go towards the bank. So I'm going to take a right right here. And there you go. You can see that it said that do not take it here. And in a second, it'll give you an option of three locations. Now, one of them is far superior 
to the other two. And I will show you that here in a second as soon as we get a little bit closer. Now, I've noticed, I think, unless I messed up on the video I did last, the where I dropped off the vehicle is not where the vehicle ended up being. So let me show you on the map right here. So you have these three spots. This is the one you want to go to. But the one that was there on the left, that's actually the one that it keeps... After the heist is complete, that's the one that it keeps throwing me into for some reason. That one there on my left. But we'll see here together if that's the case or if I just messed up last time. But we're going to be taking it to this one over here. The reason is because once you complete the heist, this is going to be the easiest one to go to. So let me just... Oops, didn't mean to do that. All right, so this is the easiest one because when you leave the building, you leave right there behind and you'll come straight into here. So we'll see. Hopefully it works and it puts us in this one. All right, so once you've completed that, it says leave the area. All you're going to want to do is either run away, drive away. Like I say, you can grab a vehicle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spawn. You know what? I'll spawn my CO abilities here. Buzzard. All right, and as soon as you get in your vehicle, we're just going to head on over to the auto shop. And we'll leave the area within seconds of us taking off here, as you'll see in about three. No, I, didn't, I didn't even count to three. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just head on back to our auto shop. All right, as soon as you get back to your auto shop, it is time for mission number two, which is also incredibly simple. And there is obviously easy ways to do this. So I'm going to be showing you that here today. So let's go ahead, get our vault code. Our chopper should still be right outside or whatever vehicle it was you came in. I would recommend, obviously, a chopper or an oppressor mark too, just so it's a little bit quicker. Hey, listen up. So she's going to talk to you. If you hang up on it, like I say, it will make it faster and it'll just show you where the target is. But essentially, you're just going to head on over to the airport. So let's speed this part up. All right, and once you get to the airport, you can see that marker right there. I've triggered it, so it says we're here. We're actually stealing a police helicopter. And this is a lot more simple than I think it probably should be, but <laughs> hey, it's not... <laughs> easier, better. Easier, the better. You know what I mean? So there's going to be two cops that are going to be standing right here. So you should take out the first one. And then there should be another one. Nope, there wasn't one here. Oh, no, it was right there. Get out, no! Kill him! <laughs> I missed him. Okay, I was going to say, there's usually two cops, but no. So once you've picked up the helicopter, obviously, no matter what you do or how you kill them, you will get three stars. But all you're going to want to do is head on over to the bank, just fly towards it, and as you can see already, we're losing the stars. So just make sure you're high up enough that the cars won't see you on the ground, and then just fly over to the maze bank right over there. All right, and just like that, you can see before we even get here, the cops have already, like, vanished, so we are good to go. Now, what we're looking for is a blue comet. It's a blue comet. I'm sure you know what the comet looks like. So you're just going to fly on into this little car park right here. That blue car is not it, so I know that. So we're going to put this into hover, and you can see... Okay, I can see it. So as soon as you get into this position, you're going to want the comet, which is... Nope, not that one. Nope, nope. It's actually the one just beneath it. We'll just let it... There we go. So this is the one we're scanning. You can actually see him if you look carefully inside the driving seat. All right, and there you go. So what we're going to do right now... Obviously, you can see the detection meter. We don't want him to see us. So he's going to go under the bridge right there. And he's going to do a little lap. And he's going to go to one of two locations. One of two locations. So I'm just going to stay right here where I was... We're not going to get too far away from him. He's going to loop around and most likely come back up this way. So let's just speed this part up a little bit. Okay, so since he's not coming back this way, I know he's not going to one of those buildings. But I will be able to show you on screen here in a second. I'll show you how to uh, find the people over on that location as well. But first, we'll follow him towards this hotel he's on his way to. So basically, if he goes this way, he's going to the beach hotel. If he goes that way, he's going to the one in the hills right there. That's how you know which one he's going to. It's going to be one of two. Okay, so as you can see, he's just drove into this V hotel right here. And in a second, she's going to call us. There you go. And tell us where to go. 
And this is super easy. You do not need to get out of the helicopter. It's actually much easier if you stay in the helicopter. Just wait for her to finish talking. Wait for her to finish talking. Okay, and there we go. So for this one, most of the time, it's going to be on one of these uh, balconies. You see where that guy in the red t-shirt is? Either on that one or on the opposite side. But if not, they usually spawn down in the corner over here. Which is, by the looks of it, yeah. So let's go ahead and pull up this one more time. And here they are. And you want to get them when they're doing that. Just like that. And then once you've done it, you can pull out of it and then just leave. Now we're going to head on straight back to our, um, back to the auto shop. And it was that simple. So obviously she's going to be taught. There you go. Now we can head back. You just need to fly away a little bit, but it's that simple. All right, let's head on back to our auto shop. Also, if you want to see where the where they're going to be if they go to that hotel over there, you see that one over there? I'll put it up on screen right here so you can see where it is. Usually, they're always on one of the top balconies, um, but I'll throw it up on screen right here so you can take a look at that. Hey. All right, and just like that, we are back. At this point, I would recommend... What are they talking about over there? I would recommend make sure you fill up on snacks and armor. Obviously, go to ammunition to pick up some armor. If you don't know where to get snacks, if you have a Kasaka, you can go in there. Or if you have a CEO office, you can go to your secretary and get some free snacks from her. Now, let's go ahead and show you the setup for the robbery for the heist itself, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so first of all, let's purchase heavy armor. I think I already have heavy armor, so I'm not sure why that said that. And then the weapon loadout we're going to use, obviously, whatever's best for you. I personally like the Bullpup Rifle Mark II, so we're going to be going for the Hustler. Confirm, we're going to be doing this solo. Are you sure? Yes, I am. All right, so at this point, you could probably cycle through some cars if you own some of them. I don't, personally. So this is the only car we have to use, but this car is more than enough. So let's go ahead and start this thing up. And here we go, ladies and yeah, This is a beautiful car. I probably should buy one of these, actually, thinking about it. So first things first, I'm going to... All right. All right. I'm going to double check. Let me get K up in here. I was going to say, I'm going to double check and Whoa, see if I can. Now, Let's look at inventory, Whoa. body armor. Okay, I do have That's body armor, shit. which is weird because it said I had to buy some, but it's fine. All right, so what we're doing now is we're heading on over to our spot. You can see it has messed up. You see on the map right there, this is not where I dropped off our armored vehicle. So if you have the same issue, don't worry. It's not just you. But if you look at the map, this is where I dropped off the vehicle. And over here is where it keeps setting it up. But this is not where I dropped off the car. So it does make it a little bit more difficult, but not, not much more difficult. You don't need to worry about it. Let's okay, so it. this, knowing that, this is where we're going to have to come to. All right, so once you get in the car, you're just literally going to drive straight across the street into the bank, and it is that simple. All right, up out of here, down into here. I wish it actually worked properly. I wish it worked properly so I, my car was where I want it to be, but it's not. All right, so once you get... These guys are just going to be talking all the way through, so I apologize if they're loud. You're just going to run straight on into here. Then you're going to have to flash your ID, which you don't have to do anything. The game just automatically does it. See your ID. Just walk up to him and it should prompt you. There we go. Thank you, sir. And then you're going to come straight on in here. Now, keep in mind, when you get gold, just like in the KO Perico heist, it does make your bag heavy. So you will be moving slower. So if you're running around, you're like, why am I so slow? It's because you have full loot bags, basically. Okay, so now we're down here. We're just going to run straight in. And make sure you pick up both stacks of gold. Don't grab one and then the alarm goes off and you panic. Get both stacks of gold. And recently, I don't know if they nerfed it on purpose or if it's because there's a little bug in the game, but no one spawns down here. No guards. Like once the alarm goes off, usually there's guards that spawn, but they haven't been doing it recently. So as soon as we grab this first stack of gold, the alarm is going to sound, as you'll hear in 3, 2, 1. And there you go. Make sure you run straight in here and grab your second stack. You're not going to be able to fill all of your bag. Well, you'll fill your bag all the way up, but you're not going to be able to grab it all. And then we'll make sure we have our rifle right here. Like I say, usually guards spawn down here, but I haven't seen them in a while. When I did this video earlier, there was a guard inside the elevator on the right here. Right there. 
and then he vanished just like he did right now. All right, so this obviously is the most difficult part, but in all honesty, it's not that difficult. Um, so we'll, I'll make sure I walk you through it. But I need to remember. So obviously our card's not where we initially said we wanted it to go. So we need to keep that in mind. Okay, so first things first, we'll take out him. Oh my god, where the hell did these guys just spawn in from? This guy was not supposed... Did you see what I just saw? So if that happens to you, know that you're not alone. I don't know why those guards just spawned out of nowhere. All right, let's take out him. Take out him. Take out him. Take out... Come on. Pop your little head. There we go. Make sure we've got some armor. And then that should be... Pop. Pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, let's just reload. There's going to be one guard down here, but he's kind of easy. I don't know why so many guards just spawned down here. That usually doesn't happen, as I'm sure you guys know. All right, let's just take out him. Easy peasy. Okay, and then we're going to duck behind this car because there's going to be a few coming. And then you're just going to take them all out one by one. Okay, just like that. Make sure your armor is full. And then if you shoot this guy right here, he will fall all the way down. There we go. All right, now we're just going to run to our car. You can see I'm running pretty slow. Uh, my car should be behind me because that's where originally I wanted it to go. Obviously, we did put our car over here, but this isn't the intended place, unfortunately. All right, let's make sure we put our armor on. And if you have the same bug that I have where it sends you this way, just know it's you're not alone. Okay, so we're going to jump over here and there's going to be a lot of cops and then there's going to be the SWAT that's going to come around this corner too. So first things first, let's take out these guys. Make sure you get these guys first. All right, make sure we use armor and food. Okay, now we can go take out you. Armor. All right, we're not going to worry about him. Oh, where did you come from? All right, now we're just going to run to our car. We've got enough armor. I don't need to put some more on. Oh, yeah, maybe I do. Now, sometimes cops drive into here, as you can see right now. But it doesn't always happen. It doesn't always happen. If you watched the video that I did earlier today, no cops came in here. Like, there was zero cops. So I guess it's just look at the draw. To be completely honest with you. All right. So now we're just going to get in our vehicle. And then that's it. We just need to escape. Now, I personally prefer to get rid of the cops before I drive all the way there. Just makes my life a little bit more easy. So let's go ahead and get out of here. And this car, like I say, this is the default car that you'll get unless you own another one. And this car, in all honesty, is fine. It is completely fine to use this car. Now, the most difficult part, obviously, is going to be the choppers. So you want to make sure you can get away from the choppers. Don't let them get too close to you. So right now, even though the five stars isn't flashing, we are technically losing the cops right here. So you can see there's not a lot of them around us. We're going to go up this way. Just keep your eye on the minimap. Avoid any of the police. I mean, that's not anything like new. And <laughs> I'm not telling you any breathtakingly new information here. But uh, yeah, just keep, keep away from the police. All right, now you can see it's starting to flash. So what I'm going to do is we're going to follow slowly behind this police car. As soon as we get around this corner, you can see there's another one coming. I'm actually going to turn and drive up here. Again, just avoiding them. It is much easier to lose the police and then get there instead of having to, you know, just wait around or drive. Because if the police find you, then obviously the helicopters are going to come and start chasing you as well. So we're just going to wait here for a second. Typical GTA logic. They don't know I'm here, but they are for some reason walking up the hill. Okay, there we go. See, that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. They started walking up the hill here, even though... They had no idea where I was. GTA logic. Okay, anyway, once you've done that, it's pretty much a straight shot all the way to the entrance. Or the entrance? The exit. Or the finish line, I should say. So let's go ahead and speed this part up a little bit. So I'm going to speed this up, and then I'm going to talk to you guys about how to replay this. So let's speed this up.
And all right, here we are coming up to the finish line here. So this entire heist from start to finish took us around 20 minutes. That's it, 20 minutes. And it would have actually been even faster. Unfortunately, we got the long uh, escape ride here. There is one that I'll show you here in a minute that is much faster. So if you get that one, good for you. But here we go. Let's get out of our car here. And it should be over. Let's see that beautiful, super easy 900k in 20 minutes. Absolute madness. Absolutely. It's a, it's a small envelope. Maybe it's just a check for 900,000. You know what I mean? Maybe it's not cash. I don't know. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have passed the heist. I wish it had a timer on it so it would show you how long it took. Like the KO Perico one does. That would make it a little easier for me. <laughs> But yeah, it's about 20 minutes. It may even be less than 20 minutes. Contract complete. There we have it. So it was 900k plus their take. So 810,000. Like I was saying, this is the furthest one too. Like if you get the one, there's one where you literally just have to drop it off like over here or something like that. So that one makes it much faster. But anyway, so what you're thinking to yourself, I've got 810k. That was amazing. I want to do it again. So all you're going to want to do is go to um, just start a new invite lobby. That's going to take you back to your auto shop if that is where you've set up your spawn point. All right, and here we are spawning in. Now, for this heist, I do want to mention, I've seen a few videos in the past that people say it has no cooldown. There is a cooldown. There is indeed a cooldown. So if you have this issue right here, as you guys can see, it's not showing. You're like, how can I do it again? First thing I will mention is I would just recommend doing one of these contracts. They're all fairly easy and you're still, look at that, 510, 530, 516. These contracts usually only pay like 120, 150 grand. So the fact, that shows you how easy they are. So the fact that you're getting half a million for doing these, I would definitely recommend just doing one of these but if you're because there is a 30 minute cooldown anyway so you may as well do one of these but if you're like you know what i don't want to do another mission i just want to walk away go grab something to eat and come back and do it after 30 minutes if it's not showing up on the board right here what you're gonna have to do is just choose a job Hi. and then job just let's go ahead and start it oh you're gonna have to wait for her to finish talking hold on all right so just go ahead and launch any of the missions like i say and then what you're gonna want to do is go into contacts and call her so let's give her a call. And then you're going to cancel the mission. Hey, what's up? So you can see, go ahead, cancel. And there it is, canceled. So, so you can see that it still shows the mission is there, but we're actually not. We just canceled it. So again, if you go into this and then just restart. Now, when you come back in, it should. Okay, so as you can see, it has refreshed. The contractor that we want is not there. So all we would have to do is the same thing. We just start up one of these, cancel it, restart, and it'll pop up. I'll show you up on screen right here. So as you can see, you can restart this mission. There is a 30 minute cooldown in between doing it, but 30 minutes, and it only takes 20 minutes to complete. So you can basically almost do 1.8 million every hour almost with this. Just a little over an hour, 1.8 million. That is faster and easier than the KO Perico heist. Obviously, the heist, if you're doing it solo, you can only do it once every three hours. So this is incredible. I definitely recommend anyone to try this out, specifically this week, because it is only for this week where it is three times the pay. But anyway, do all of these too. While you're waiting in between the heists, just do these. It is fast, easy money. You're going to make so much money this week, I promise you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. But I hope you enjoyed this little guide here. If you did and if it was helpful, please consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye.